guys! If this is your first time watching, I'm Stephanie with Nutrix Dog Training in Louisville, Kentucky, and today I wanted to talk about puppies! 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 I've been getting a few questions about puppies and puppy training because it's almost that season where everyone gets little Christmas puppies. And I'm super proud of people who've reached out because getting a puppy is a lot of responsibility. They're super adorable, but they're also a lot of hard work. And the first topic I wanted to cover in my little puppy mini series is picking the right puppy for you and your family. And I think that's where this really starts. I think sometimes people pick the wrong type of dog for them. Sometimes you'll see people who are older and can't get around as easily anymore get a little German Shepherd puppy. And if they're not well trained, this can be kind of a disaster. So it's really important to think about your life and your lifestyle before picking out a new dog. And that's something I'm going to be emphasizing over and over is you're not picking out a puppy, you're picking out a dog. This dog's only going to be small and tiny and sleepy and stumbly for so long, and then you're going to be stuck with the adult version of it. So it's really important to make the right choice for you and your family. So one of the first things that I think people should do is look at how active you are. And it's really important not to lie to yourself about this. Like, it's really great if you want to make some lifestyle changes and get into hiking or kayaking or canoeing. But when you're looking at different types of dogs, I really think that people should look at how they are right now as opposed to how they'd aspirationally like to be. And trust me, I say this as someone who picks up a new hobby every single week. <laughs> It's just important to not make big decisions based on aspirational desires. Another thing to look at is how much time you have for play and exercise. Can you take your dog for a walk twice a day or do you have a backyard for them to run around in? And then it's also important to look at how much time you have for training. If you have a job that takes up a lot of your time, you might want to look at dogs that are easier to train and don't require as much hands-on work versus dogs that are known to be a little bit more stubborn. <laughs> and this goes doubly if this is your first dog. So look at the kind of space you have, your lifestyle, what kind of commitment you're able to make to a dog before picking out the type of one you want. So once you've evaluated your lifestyle, you can start thinking about the type of dog breed that would best fit in with you and your family. And I'd look for some sort of online questionnaire. Uh, Animal Planet has a really good breed selector quiz that can help guide you to the type of dog that would be a good fit for you. So if you're someone who's looking for a hiking companion, you have time to take your dog on two walks a day at least, uh, you have a big backyard to play in, you can consider working dogs. These are breeds like Border Collies, Huskies, Retrievers, dogs meant for some sort of job like hunting, herding, pulling, retrieving. These are dogs that usually have a little bit higher energy, so they're a good fit for humans that also have a higher energy lifestyle and who might even have time to work with them on things like agility. I think a mental trap a lot of people fall into is wanting a dog for protection. So look at breeds like German Shepherds, Roddies, pitties, big burly dogs. And one of the big things is a lot of dogs don't know how to naturally protect you from strangers that mean you harm, but not from your friends or family or the mailman. These aren't dogs that just are born knowing what to do. It's a lot of really intense training. So then what a lot of casual dog owners who don't plan on doing this type of intense training, uh, what they end up with are dogs that are noisy, prone to aggression or distrust of strangers, and this might not be a great match for you if you like to have lots of people over, you live in a busy neighborhood, and you hate having dogs that bark or kind of nervously patrol the house. So you'll have dogs with these protection instincts, but not the training outlet for them. So I really caution a lot of people against these big, powerful breeds if they're not ready for the type of responsibility that comes with them. And similarly, I think a lot of people overlook what are known as companion breeds. Uh, these are usually smaller lap dogs like Chihuahuas, Dachshunds, Pugs, Pomeranians. But I also think for a lot of people, they're actually a much better match than they realize. If you really prefer to sit on the couch and watch Netflix or play video games most of your nights, or if you don't have a ton of time to put into exercising your dog, these dogs can really be a great fit for a lot of different families. And the big disclaimer here is that these are always just breed guidelines. 
These traits are usually based off of what dogs were originally meant to do because today vast majority of dogs are in fact just companion dogs. But they're just kind of guidelines that are there to make you really think about what you want in your dog and to prepare you for their energy levels, their temperaments. But any dog can have any sort of temperament. And that brings me to evaluating whether or not you in fact do want a puppy or if you might in fact want a dog. And by that I mean a dog who's an adolescent or is just crossing into the adult to dog line. So a dog that's about a year to three years old. And one of the great things is with dogs in this age range is that you usually have a much better idea of their temperament. And there's also temperament testing, but it's not an exact science. Uh, there's YouTube videos on how to kind of conduct it when you go to evaluate puppies. But with a dog who's at the end of adolescence or into adulthood, you have a much better idea of what they're actually like. And a lot of rescues will actually let you foster to adopt, so you can see if the dog really is the right fit for you and your family, or help them get adopted if they're not. It's worth remembering that puppies are way, way more effort. Like, yes, they're adorable, their feet smell like Fritos, but you also have to wake up in the middle of the night to take them out. They're gonna have accidents, they're gonna make mistakes. You're starting from total scratch with training. It's a lot of work. So it's really worth considering whether or not a puppy is the best decision for you at this time, or if an adult dog might fit your lifestyle better. So that's just some things to chew on, guys. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be covering your first day with your puppy. If you have any questions or anything you'd like me to cover in these videos, let me know and I'll make sure to answer them. Bye, guys.